Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So I don't know how hot it is where you guys are, but here it is 80 degrees. So why not have something refreshing? So here I have fruit. I love fruit. I can eat fruit all day, every day. Here we have some lovely kiwis. Those one looks so delicious. And here I have a mixture of mango and pineapple. You probably can't tell because they're both yellow, but this is mango and pineapple. And yeah, it smells so good actually. Let's get into this first and then we'll get into the kiwis. So juicy and it's so sweet. So I cut this up myself and let me tell you, cutting up fruit is very messy, <laughs> especially when it's like not too ripe, but it's like perfect. It's going to be like so juicy. Mm. It's just really good. Here, let me show you. Mm. Some people don't like pineapple because you know it like stings your tongue. It's like the needle sensation. I used to get that when I was younger, but I've noticed that every time I eat pineapple, like now I don't, I don't get that sensation on my tongue. Mm. Mango. You guys probably have realized that I do not incorporate a lot of fast food onto my channel. Only because, like, realistically, my day consists of salads, fruits, um, and majority of the time, like, if I'm working, I just have a monster drink or coffee. It's like, So when I do fast food, it's only on occasion, like it's occasional, like every now and then sort of thing. Or if a fast food chain comes out with something that's interesting, then I'll do it. But <clears throat> I mostly focus on like balance. If you go to my TikTok, um, I posted a video of me having breakfast, which was like waffles, turkey sausage, and egg whites. And that was a very late, late breakfast. I didn't have that until around uh almost 3 p.m so now i think it's like almost six right now so just having fruit i don't know if this would be my dinner this would probably not keep me satiated enough but we'll see big pineapple huge pineapple Mm. It 
So what are you guys' favorite fruit? Don't tell me you don't like fruit. And if you don't, it's fine. I don't judge. But who doesn't like fruit? What's a fruit that you love and a fruit that you can't stand? I love watermelon, pineapple, kiwis, grapes, strawberries, blackberries, blueberries, mango. Apples, oranges, um, cherries, I love all that. I hate peaches. Bananas. Cantaloupe. I don't like cantaloupe. <laughs> I used to love cantaloupe and bananas when I was younger. Not anymore. Mm. I think that's it. Those are the only foods I don't, I, ref, I will not eat. Trying to get this mango. When it comes to spring and summer, those are the seasons where I mostly have fruit. And we'll have salads all the time, but no matter what season, but I mainly mostly eat salads during the spring and summertime. Maybe I'll do a fast food mukbang in the future, but it has to be something that I crave, that I really, really want, not just something I'll have just for the sake of a video, because I don't have to have fast food. I don't know if that's what you guys mostly want to see, but um, I listen to my body and if I know like I don't want fast food. Mm. But There is a Chipotle opening soon near me, so I can get down with some Chipotle, so I don't know how soon I'll be able to like put that video out for you guys or how soon I'll be able to get my hands on it because like I said, um, they just finished building the Chipotle, but you're going to see a lot of content of me having Chipotle once, once it opens. So here we're going to um, do the kiwi now. It's so easy to cut. It's not too ripe. I love kiwis because they last in the fridge for a long time. Not a long, long, long time, but like a decent amount of time. I'm going to show you guys without dripping it everywhere. Look at that kiwi. Isn't that gorgeous green? Oh, that is so gorgeous. Wow, I love kiwi. 
So what I do, I just take my spoon and go along the edge. This would probably be very messy, but some... <laughs> Look where it landed. <laughs> oh my god. I'm keeping that clip in because you know, people make mistakes, things happen, whatever, I don't care. I'm not perfect. Um, see, it's so juicy. So I'm just going along the edges. And digging down. Yes, I'm losing majority of the juice, but I mean, how are you gonna eat it? <laughs> and then you just make sure it's loose, so that so they can like scoop it out. It's gonna come out really pretty. Give me a second. And you just and voila, you have a gorgeous, gorgeous kiwi. Ready? Hmm. <laughs> All right. Mm. That was good. Mm. It's a little tart, <clears throat> but that's okay. So sweet, but a little tart. Pineapple, mango. This, this should keep me full for the rest of the night. I shouldn't even eat it. I'm listening to my body. And my body's telling me, you should be good for the rest of the day. <clears throat> so you guys probably have seen trending. On Twitter or TikTok or YouTube or whatever the whole thing with Marina Lambert so just in case you guys are not familiar with the news of Marina Lambert um, she totally like called out some fans in the front row for taking pictures you know, while she was singing on stage. She literally stopped her concert, stopped her song. Cause she, like I said, she was the most singing. She literally stopped and, and she was like, you're at a concert and she's taking pictures somewhere along those lines. She's like, we're here to hear, to hear country music not take pictures and the thing is like they're making memories you know it was like girls in the front row VIP and they had their backs facing towards the stage and they were like taking pictures you know of Miranda in the shot just making memories and she literally stopped her song and called them out for it Mm. No one is on her side. 
Miranda is Laura in the Heat. Now, I don't listen to Miranda Lambert's music. I never care for Miranda Lambert. I, she's not my kind of artist. If I do hear her songs, like if I'm in like a store or somewhere where there's music and I hear a song, like I can't relate to her music. Her and her music is not relatable to me. I never really care for her. But um, if it wasn't for your fans, you wouldn't be as famous as you are, or well known as you are. And if anything, you should, if anything, artists should um, love it when their fans want to make memories and take pictures and, and stuff like that in the, in the, in the stands. Like, you should want that. I mean, doesn't that let the artists know that the, your fans are enjoying your concert and enjoying the music? I mean, what do you want? What do you want? Fans that just sit there and don't dance and don't sing along, and they just like they're beat their statues. So, is that what you want? <laughs> like that? That'd be a boring crowd. That would be such a boring crowd. Artists like to know that their fans are having a, a good time. I don't know if the girls stayed there, but there is a video of, um, you can look it up, it should be everywhere, there's a video of some other fans in the crowd, they literally got up and left, they literally stood up and left. And good for them, because you don't treat your fans that way. Like, yeah, you, you're well-known and you may be really, really famous, but you also can be humble, too. Like, because, like I said, if it wasn't for, for the fans, like, where would you even be? You know? When it comes to concerts, the only, there's really no etiquette, you know? You're supposed to go there to have a good time. The only thing is don't throw things on stage. Don't get completely wasted to the point of where you're belligerent and have to be escorted out because you're ruining it for everyone else who just wants to have a good time. That's it. Take all the pictures, all the videos you want to. I mean, <laughs> Taylor Swift would never. <laughs> Taylor Swift would never. When I went to the Eras tour, this one's hard to get out. I don't know why. You're very, very stubborn and gooey. When I went to the Eras tour, that's mainly what um, the Swifties did. They danced, video, and took pictures. And not once did Taylor call anyone out. Um, Taylor was just doing her thing, you know? Doing her thing. She was entertaining. That's what she's, that's what she's there to do. Entertain. And... The fans get their money's worth. And you know those heirs to a concerts was really hard to get. It was literally a great war. So if Taylor Ebert stopped her show to call out a fan for taking pictures or videoing too much, or whatever. Mm. For the price of those tickets, I'm gonna do what the hell I want. <laughs> Honestly, I love Taylor. With all my heart, Swifty to the day I die. But if she pulls some shit like that, I don't know. I can't get behind her on that one. I can't say, yeah, Taylor, you go, you go, girl, yeah, call them out, yeah, you rock. No, because, like, right is right and wrong is wrong. Like, you don't call your fans out for doing stuff like that. I'll probably be like, mm, yeah, Taylor shouldn't have, shouldn't have done that. That was wrong. 
but when you go to a when it comes to Taylor Swift and her concerts, there's it's not that doesn't even exist. That does not exist. Like it's just nothing but a full fun time. Everyone's having fun. One big gigantic party. That's the way concerts are supposed to be. Depending on the concert, because Ed Sheeran, his concerts are more his concerts are more chill or just I don't know how you describe it. More chill. But like how dare Miranda? Tickets are so high these days just to enjoy a concert. People take time off work. People like spend money on costumes and they fly in out of town. A lot of money goes into attending a concert. So let your fans have fun. They're not doing anything criminal. They're not hurting anybody. They're not ruining it for anyone else in the audience. They're taking pictures with you in the frame. They're making memories for their the children. Like, your job is to sing and entertain. Not be the police. <laughs> like, when I first saw that video and it was like, watching videos that people talking about, I was like, I, I don't know. When it comes to f fame, just gets people in the head so, so hard. Except for Taylor. And that's why I love Taylor so much. Well, one of the many reasons why I love Taylor is because she stayed grounded, you know? She didn't let fame get to her head, you know? And the thing is, like, it comes with an understanding of she's not perfect. She's human. You know, there's been videos on TikTok of on the Air, Air Tour of her singing and making mistakes. But people in the audience laugh it off. They just laugh it off with her because... See, she doesn't try to be perfect, you know? She's not going to stop a song and start over just because, well, she will start over, but she won't be like, dang it, I messed up, start over, you know? She'll just be like, oh my god, that is totally not the words, and then all this would just laugh, and then she'll just start over. I mean, it's just fun. She's like so normal, and so I love about her because she's like, the girl next door, you know, she's like so normal. She's a human being that makes mistakes, you know. I hate to, I hate to compare, but. How you treat your fans really matters. I've never not once like looked at a Miranda Lambert CD and like, oh, I'm gonna get it. No. I've always been like, eh, no. <laughs> I don't know, that just says that just says a lot about her personality. I don't know her at all, but like sometimes you don't really have to know a person personally. Like the things they do, their actions, the things they say kind of just tells a lot about them. You know, like you hate to judge, but at the same time, you kinda have no other choice but to judge. Just I am. Until they until they show otherwise, you know. But I don't know. That video was just like crazy to me. I was like, what? I'm like, no, she did not stop her concert just because a few girls were taking pictures. Wow. I can't even wrap my head around that. I'm getting quite, um, not 
for a while, but I'm getting quite content. I have like four kiwis, mango and pineapple. I'm gonna stop right here. <clears throat> this is all that I have left. Um, I should kill this by tomorrow, and uh, that's that. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.